Hey everybody, it's Josh from BiggerPockets.com here to tell you about our new feature of BiggerPockets Labels. BiggerPockets Labels is a new way to identify yourself to others in the community on your profile and actually eventually uh, throughout the site. Uh, but right now we've, we've just launched this thing and, and, and want to give you a quick tour of how it works. So to, uh, to get to Labels we just go to our Edit Profile link in the Account drop-down and then click on the Experience tab. Once we're there, you'll see we're at the Bigger Pockets Labels page. Uh, first thing you're going to do is answer this question: How are you involved in real estate? Uh, so we go to our drop-down, and we've got all these options. We'll say we're a real estate investor, and we're a landlord, and narrow it down a little more. Why don't we say we're a residential landlord that's focused on single-family homes? Now, previously on Bigger Pockets, you were only able to select one occupation. We've made it so that you can select as many as you'd like. Um, so if you're a realtor and an investor, or a realtor and investor that focuses only on one aspect of investing, you can actually designate that on your profile. As you can see in the next box, it asks what markets you operate in. So you can select by city, by zip, or by state. And we'll say Denver. And if you want to add another, just click here, and you can say, I'm also the whole state of Colorado. And then it goes and asks, what deals have you done? So you can say, I've done investment deals, or note deals, or lien deals, landlord deals, you name it. So say, I've done, you know, five landlord deals. Now, mind you, up top here, we've only selected one involvement in real estate, one occupation. We will actually be able to select another one on the next page. So now we'll click Set Up Labels. When we're brought to the next page, you'll see all your labels here that you've created. Um, say you were also a real estate agent and not just a uh, single family investor, you would go to occupation and you would select real estate agent and residential and create a label. And there's the new label. And of course, as a real estate agent who focuses on investors, you actually have certifications from let's say CCIM. You can create a label and add your certifications as well. Now this is all good and well and it's here on your dashboard but what do people actually see? Well if you go to your profile you'll notice that there's a new section as we scroll down that contains all these tags. So you're a single family investor, residential real estate agent, you've done five deals, your markets are Denver and Colorado, and here are your certifications. If you want to go back and add more, just go back to the account drop down, edit profile, click on the experience tab, and you can add or subtract. Now say your primary occupation wasn't, a, uh, wasn't as an investor but it was an agent. So you just hover over your occupations and it'll allow you to click here and set your primary occupation. Um, you can also delete any tag at any point by clicking on the little minus, and there it goes, disappears. So that's it, Bigger Pockets labels. Now this whole system is going to greatly expand how we interact and how we connect with others on the site. These features aren't available right now, but will be soon. Um, you'll find them on our Meet page under the Find Members on the Networking drop-down. Um, and what we're going to have there is the ability to filter users and find users based on specific criteria that they've set in their profile. Now this will only be available to our paid members, um, but stay tuned, we'll make an announcement about that. And that's it. Hopefully you guys find these new features to be valuable in helping in your networking and deal making. And thank you so much for your time. We'll see you around Bigger Pockets.